This is the free motion quilting tutorial for flame turns. This design is stitched by first creating a wiggly flame shape and stitching to one side, and that's basically to the left, and then you're going to run a center line of stitching all the way to that point, and that's going to give you a line to get right to that point, so that way you can branch off with another flame going in the opposite direction. And this is a variation of left turn, right turn, or curvy turns. The only difference between this and curvy turns is the fact that we're doubling the design. So you can see it's it's a solid flame shape and then coming up with that middle line. You hit that point and then travel stitch along that top line to get to the next flame, to be able to start the next flame. And I hope that that's clear in this video. It's a little difficult to see when I'm stitching it, but hopefully you can see when I get off of the line of stitching. Uh, just how that is coming together, and it's a very interesting design. Uh, the first line that you're going to do is kind of your base. It's going to kind of set the stage for the rest of the design and the rest of your quilt. And the really interesting thing is this texture doesn't look nice to start with. It doesn't look interesting at all in this first line, this first line from one edge of your quilt to the other. It's whenever you start stacking more and more and more lines next to it that it really starts to become an interesting texture. And here's how that works. You're gonna wanna interlock these lines together. So I'm gonna come up with a new kind of L-shaped design and I wanna have that flame make sure that it touches the line before it and that they interlock. And then I'm going to travel stitch and make sure that this line in some way touches that row before it. And what this is going to do is this is going to interlock those two sets of lines together so that way they form this kind of almost a grid, almost a mesh-like grid on the surface of your quilt. And you can kind of see how this has taken shape over the surface and because these are flame shapes they're a lot more freeform and organic than uh, left turn right turn or even curvy turns are simply because they have a lot more bendy movement a lot more wiggly movement to them than those other designs so bearing all that in mind here's what it looks like whenever you finish flame turns For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project and please share it with your friends. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.